Hey y'all, this is your boy Brandy Lewis Sims with the Big Mo Radio Show, and we're here with uh, Tell Us Your Name, and uh, and what's the reason for the celebration here? My name is Veronica, and this is Verna Hawkins, Amelia Lewis, and we are here for my 80th birthday. Congratulations, 80 <laughs> years, and, and you were part of a singing group. Tell us about your group. Yes, yeah, so I, I was. It was called Marina Decors back in the 60s, and uh, we, we, we were just like most of us wanted to get to Motown so we could all get famous like the Supremes and all, but we never happened, but we had a good time singing all around D.C. and Maryland. Yeah, tell us about some of your hit songs over the years. Well, we had two they hit. Well, they were, <laughs> they were hit reckless to us. Queen right. of Fools and I'm the One. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who were some of the artists that you look up to? How did you, like, who oh, did you, I, who did you girls, idolize? Yeah. I, oh, I, well, the one, main one I idolized was uh, the Shirelles. Okay. I, I, I think we sound a lot like the Shirelles. Okay. And then I like um, Martha and the Vandellas and the, the Supremes. Pretty much. Did you ever get a chance to perform or meet any of those? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. We performed at places like Vista Racetrack. And okay. uh, I don't know if you remember, you can't find it. Stardust Inn, places like that. Diamond Gems, downtown. Okay, did I ask you about yeah. your hit songs? Yeah, you did. Okay, I did ask you about, <laughs> your, about your hit songs. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I guess, what was, it, what was it like living in, in the DMV, this area, growing up here? And what was it like? Uh, uh, as a black woman, what was that um, experience like? It, it was fine. I mean, I got along okay, no problems, you know, like they're having today. Mm -hmm. it, it, but, but we got along great. Did you know the mm -hmm. promoter Robert Brown? Did I know who? The promoter Robert, Robert, Robert Brown. Robert Brown. No. But we were on the, sto on the sto um, show with Jimmy Stewart. Uh, uh, what is the name? Uh, uh, Stewart. Billy Stewart. Okay. Yeah. And we were on uh, with... I'm trying to think of their name. Uh, can't think of it now because we're talking a long time ago. But uh, but we, we, we were on the show with some people, nice different okay. people, you know, that were kind of successful. I guess did you ever watch Soul Train <laughs> or American Bandstand? Oh, yeah, 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 those Soul were our shows. Yeah. Okay. Oh, matter of fact, we did, uh, in Baltimore, we were there on their show. I forgot the name of the show, Okay. but it was in Baltimore. Okay. And we did perform while the kids were dancing, just like it would be when it was uh, Soul Train. Okay. <laughs> now, how has the music industry tra changed since then? A lot, because you can't understand the words now. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give a young person, you know, looking to follow in your footsteps, uh, your career path? Well, I, I think if, if you enjoy singing, you should follow your, your heart and you should do it. And that's the best advice I can give. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, and uh, congratulations on your 80th birthday. Thank you. All thank right. you.